All right, back to the markets. We got some green. It's not a full rebound from yesterday's losses, but we'll take it. Dow's up 160, Nasdaq's up 73. David Barnson with us. As usual, I want to hear some high-paying, growing dividend companies giving stocks. You're going to start with Exxon? Tell me more. Well, I'm starting with Exxon and Chevron, which I've been talking about on your show for years. We've owned them a very long time. We were adding to our positions when they got crushed during COVID as there was excess supply and no demand. Today, there is huge demand and very limited supply. But I want to make a political point, which seems to be popular on your show. <laughs> Stuart, the president and his policies are helping Exxon and Chevron more than anybody can understand. Because his anti-American fossil fuel yep. perspective, his anti-American energy policies are hurting smaller companies. They're hurting newer companies. They're hurting more innovation, people that can come on that are not big legacy enterprises like Exxon and Chevron. Mm -hmm. They're already embedded. Their market share is not going anywhere. So when you regulate away new competition, the old guys benefit. And Exxon and Chevron okay. here are those old guys. What are they paying in dividend? Both of them are paying in between four and a half and five and a half percent. It varies based on where the stock price is. But those yields are oh. only lower because the stock prices are way higher. The yields, the, the, uh, excuse me, the dividend never went down during COVID. Okay. Both of these companies have grown their dividend for decades, every single year. So you have a very high dividend now and a growing dividend into the future, which is all we care about. There's one more that you've told us about in the past several times, and that's UMI, the Midstream Energy ETF, I believe it's actually called, UMI. Now, their, their dividend changes every day, I think, doesn't it? I'm not sure how to work it out. No, yeah, so basically it's an ETF, meaning that it's a basket of different yeah. stocks. And, and so the reason I talk about the show so much is because there's 18 or 19 companies. So I got to talk to you about it 18 or 19 times, okay? But the yield only changes because the stock price goes up and down. The distribution is doing nothing but growing. And right now it's in the fives, but I think it'll end up being in the sixes by the end of the year. And again, you have these midstream energy companies, mm -hmm. LNG terminals, pipelines that are necessary to move around oil and gas and hopefully one day be exporting gas to Europe the way we ought to be. Yep. But that's the thesis here, and it's a great dividend grower, UMI. Yeah. In a market like this, a dividend yield of 4 5 6% is very attractive to me. David, thanks for being with us. Always appreciate it. See you again soon, man. Thank thanks. You.